Hi, I'm Courtney Wilson, the director of the B&O Railroad Museum. Welcome to The War Came By Train, a 150th anniversary exhibit of the railroad in the American Civil War. We have a very special guest today, Daniel Carroll Toomey. Dan is the author of more than a dozen works on the American Civil War in the Mid-Atlantic region, and he's serving as the guest curator of our exhibit, The War Came By Train. Dan's here today to talk about a very important incident that happened 150 years ago. Following the Pratt Street Riot, Baltimore City was an armed camp of civilians. All rail and telegraph communication between the northern states and the nation's capital were severed. Maryland was on the brink of secession and no one in Lincoln's cabinet knew what to do. The only symbol of federal authority was the American flag flying over Fort McHenry. Seven miles southwest of Baltimore was the B&O Railroad Junction of Relay where General Benjamin F. Butler and 2,500 Union soldiers sat astride the main stem of the railroad. Knowing he couldn't enter the city of Baltimore, Butler put his Union troops on a steamboat to Annapolis, Maryland, repairing railroad bridges along the way and brought them into Maryland below the city. The site of perhaps the most important railroad bridge in the country during the first three months of the war Relay Station had been chosen as the junction for the Washington branch in 1832. Two years later, a 612-foot stone arch bridge had been built to carry the first ever railroad service to the nation's capital over the Patapsico River. It remained the only direct rail link from Washington to the north and west until after the Civil War. In May of 1861, General Benjamin F. Butler occupied Relay with two regiments and a battery of artillery. He immediately planted two guns on the southern side of the river and erected a sandbag battery facing west on the B&O's main line toward Ellicott Mills. His mission was twofold. First, to block any advance on Baltimore by the Confederate Army that was then forming at Harper's Ferry, and second, to protect the bridge in communication with the White House. Having accomplished his mission, General Butler then turned his attention towards the Union occupation of Baltimore City. Without consulting his superiors in Washington, he arranged for a special train to move a portion of his force to Baltimore. They arrived at Camden Station near sundown on May 13, 1861. Under the cover of a thunderstorm, Butler marched his men to the top of Federal Hill overlooking Baltimore's inner harbor and dug in for the night. He sent the following message to the commander at Fort McHenry. I have taken possession of Baltimore. My troops are on Federal Hill, which I can hold with the aid of my artillery. If I am attacked tonight, please open upon Monument Square with your mortars. The next morning, the citizens of Baltimore awoke to find a fortified Union camp with the stars and stripes waving defiantly over the city. All armed resistance in Baltimore was forced to come to an end, but the Confederate underground would remain active until the end of the war. Thomas the Tank Engine's visiting b and Railroad Museum April 29th, May 1st, and May 6th through 8th with a trainload of family fun. Kids of all ages can enjoy a ride with Thomas the Tank Engine and meet Sir Topham Hatt. There'll be storytelling, live entertainment, and much, much more. Tickets are on sale now at TicketWeb.com slash D-O-W-T or call 1-866-468-7630. Don't miss Day Out with Thomas, the leader of the track tour. Mark your calendars for April 15th. Opening of the museum's signature exhibition, The War Came by Train, commemorating the 150th anniversary of the railroad during the American Civil War. A major component of the exhibition, The War Came by Train, will be presented at the Ellicott City Station. Focusing on the effects of the Civil War in a small town railroad station, living historians and exhibits highlight divided loyalties in Maryland. Interested in learning more about the B&O Railroad Museum and Ellicott City Station? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.